My heart should be broken. Oh, I, <laughs> I feel more alive than I've ever felt. Hi, I'm Maya Stewardson and I play Grace in My First Summer. Hi, I'm Mike Kelly Kavanagh and I play Claudia in My First Summer. And you can find My First Summer on DVD from Peccadillo Pictures or these platforms. These, these platforms? These, these platforms. <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. When Katie had sent me the script, Katie had also um, spoken to a psychologist and had kind of sent them the script and they would analysed it and had provided us with really helpful notes around Claudia's situation specifically and secure attachment, anxious attachment and how that manifested with the relationship with her mum. And so that was what a lot of my research was into where Claudia's trust and abandonment and kind of addressing that and teasing out how and why their relationship was that way. And uh, we spoke a lot about this idea of, of there being a guilt bank and that when you meet Claudia, her guilt bank is already, it's just, <laughs> there's just so much going on that every time her mum would degrade her or lead her into feeling that she wasn't listening and therefore not validating her mum's feelings about the world and her mum's perspective of the world and how destructive in it is, and that every time that would happen, that would make a withdrawal from the from the guilt bank, and so just each time it would constantly take so much longer for Claudia's confidence and Claudia's belief in herself and in her natural interest in what lies outside of of the box, um, both in a literal and metaphorical sense. And that was really interesting to me because you hear a lot about confidence taking years and using years to build and then a second to shatter it. And so it was just focusing and honing in on the, the push and pull of that and how I really wanted the audience to feel that throughout the film you could feel Claudia just ta it taking so much energy for her to just get to a space where she felt comfortable enough to actually express how, and, and be vulnerable with someone and trust someone. And then the second it kind of moves, you just feel her crumble and have to rebuild. And I think the other thing is it kind of sets it up as well for the relationship she has with Grace because a lot of the time she assumes and, and, and predicts and, and expects something to go wrong before it actually does. And so that sets her up for kind of a failure in a sense. Film-wise, references-wise, I mainly kept it quite psychological and, and kind of, again, looking into trauma therapy. And, and then I because I wanted to make sure that I was doing that justice as much as possible and then focused on films like Persona which were very isolating in one location as well films that had very limited locations and Persona is one of them obviously and you feel so immersed in the world and you feel like you can't escape the film as much as the character can't escape their environment. I, who had thought myself immune, find that the wave has tumbled me over, head over heels, leaving me to summon my forces, rise and confront the enemy. I think I went and prepped Grace from a, a more embodied sort of space. I did a lot of getting my hands like dirty and walking places and being in nature and um, making things and like crafting things quite badly. We, we did it as part of our development. Um, we did some collaging, but I was a big lover of collaging and like um, the Rookie magazine and Frankie mm -hmm. magazine, which were really wonderful indie publications when I was a younger person. Uh, and I also went back and found all my old diaries um, that I wrote as a teenager. I listened to the music I was listening to as a teenager, but also similarly, when we were shooting this, Ariana Grande's album Thank You Next <laughs> came up, at, sorry, it came out, and Ariana's album Thank You Next was actually really, like, I listened to it all the time <laughs> yeah. in prepping for it. There was something about the energy of the music that was poppy and fun and exciting, but also um, created this sense of don't mess with me because I, I absolutely have my own back and I think that Grace certainly carries that into the world. So, yeah, a lot of it was sort of living like Grace. I 
I made a real conscious effort to begin walking through the world physically like her and just really feeling what it would be like to be in her body because I do think that a lot of Grace's responses to things in the world come from an inherently sort of physiological um, energy. She is quite impulsive and so really living into her body was, was really helpful. I remember you listening to that album on set as well. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Constantly blasting. Yeah. <laughs> you make me think that all the stuff my mum taught me in class about the world being cruel, about people being monsters. It's all a lie.